Hey, job of the fat. Do you know where I can get a copy of Bonestorm 2? Yes, I have no time to converse with you. I must be the first to register my disgust on the internet regarding the new McBain film. The action was dismal, and the nudity was frustratingly fleeting. I barely get going. Quick, to the Fatmobile! <laughs> yes, I suppose, but must we call it that? You got it! I'm happy to report that your quest for Bonestorm 2 is quite futile. Professor Frink posted a message on my newsgroup, alt.furryanimals.fanfiction.net, that he has bought up all the remaining video games. Oh. Thank you not to moan in my mid-sized vehicle. I am the king! Hello, drivers. Got a little situation here. Bonestorm 2. Give me one! No can do, my pointy-headed friend. I need the power of video game violence to run my latest invention slash monster. If you find me a World War II communication radio and a satellite, then my creation will live and we can play with it and enjoy the frolicking. Oh, cool. Real violence is way better than TV violence. It's like a level boss come to life. Now, who would have a World War II radio? That guy that sells all those grenades to Nelson might, I better check. Bart Simpson at your service. Not the detailing. And that sucks and blows. Move it or lose it, tool. Nice one. Hey, Springfield's lamest. What's the deal? Didn't you hear? Herman's been robbed. Hey, you don't know who did it, do you? Because if you did, boy, that would be great. Oh, no. Now where am I going to get a radio? These fresh skid marks leading away from the scene of the crime could be a clue. 
But who's to say, really? Time to lay some rubber down. Nice driving, man. Hey, Snake, what's up? Um, do I know you, little dude? I need that radio you borrowed. No way, little dude. This radio is going to help me score beaucoup de chicks. Uh, last time I checked, chicks like fast cars, not vintage electronics. Why don't we race for the radio? Oh, I totally agree to your proposal. Anymore. <gasps> I know, like trash. <laughs> 